Hi, it is on um, Wednesday morning, December the 20th, I believe, 2023. And so I'm outside of this local coffee player area. And so um, <laughs> I have been making progress. This is a thumbs up. 2023 is December the Wednesday, December the 20th, I believe, it's 2023. And so I'm making progress here. God is good. So um, I've been I've officially returned to my school district. I went to just actually went to my school like yesterday, went to sleep the whole day. Um, they assigned me just office tasks because I ended up in principal. No, you know, I, I think I did read about this yesterday. I'm not sure, but I'm just updated anyway. So um, I let her know that, you know, I'm there to help out, you know, first couple of days, just you know, dripping out of town, you know, I understand she's busy at a prison program going on, you know, she has kids, you know, go on for two weeks and they, you know, getting last minute stuff done. So I totally understand. That's what I just help out. And then once I get settled, we can talk about, you know, the issues and, you know, everything that's been going on. So that was pretty, you know, that was some things that, some things that happened that, you know, I didn't really want to compliment, com comment on them because I just got back. I haven't been there. I don't know what's going on. I'm just implementing myself back into the situation. So I don't know what's going on. And I don't want to prejudge anything because I don't know what's happening yet. You know, you don't want to, you always want to make sure to do you know, don't, you know, just take the time to analyze the situations, etc. So this morning, <laughs> so this morning I got into my hotel last night, late last night. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. I got in the hotel, so I went to sleep, had a good night and all and everything. So I woke up this morning. And so she directed me to go to another school today to meet with a um, executive director of this particular school. So that's what she told me to do yesterday. So I went there this morning. And so he gave me a letter telling me that I've been reassigned. <laughs> I've been reassigned to another location. Um, until this investigation goes on, apparently they said I did something yesterday when I showed up, which I didn't do anything to show up and act absolutely wonderful like I always do. I always act over wonderful, over willing to work, overly team player, like I've done all along, you know, through this whole process. But, you know, people don't appreciate that sometimes. I mean, like I said, multiple meetings. Once again, I'm always going overboard to be the, you know, the, the when they go down, we go up, so to speak, accurately, you know what I'm saying? Because I can't see what's going on, so I don't know. So that's, but I went overboard, you know. So anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. Is that so i've been reassigned temporarily so he told me to immediately before to the other place when i'm i'm reassigned and i told him i said even with him i was like you know what i don't have a problem with that because as long as my students are okay because i didn't even want to return to that environment like i don't ever want to be any, anywhere where i'm not appreciated the value and loved you know what i'm saying like why would i want to be in an environment like that you know what i'm saying so i don't have a problem with that but the only thing the reason why i'm even back in houston in this particular school situation is because what was going on with my students and everything that was going on and i felt led by the holy spirit to do that i'm just going to be into jesus christ so that's the reason I'm back, you know, because I'm gray. Like, I told her that, gray, you know, I can move on. You know, I don't have to be back at that school. Trust me. I, I don't want to be around anybody that does, does not value me as the princess that I am in Jesus Christ. One of his favorite children, in my opinion. So, Lakewood, I go to Lakewood. I know exactly why I am in Christ. So, anyway. So, anyway, so, um, but I was on my way heading there. And so, I um, I didn't have a lot of gas because I had used my last little bit. Oh, I shouldn't say it. Oh, why, why, I'll check. I got my number. I do get my unemployment check. <laughs> oh, maybe I should shut up. I do get out. Everything went through, so it's coming. It's on the way, but I couldn't get all the way to the location because I'm living on the gas and stuff like that. I have it. I'm good. I have food and everything, and I'm I'm okay, but I just don't want to drive back and forth there and try to, because it's long for, it's like, so anyway, the point I'm trying to say is that I did contact the district and let them know that, um, you know, I will do what they say, be to be into what they ask me to do, as they saw this Holy Spirit, and then from there, make my decision because it's only one day for before school gets out and I did ask them in that email that I sent to them it was possible for they would allow me to at least return to my school and I would like to continue the relationship with my students as possible like I said before working my former fourth grade third grade students are now fourth grade in addition to the new pre-k students I was able to see a little program the little pre-k students did yesterday so you know and I wasn't like I said I was able to see a little bit of my students she wouldn't let me see any of my students just say she told me we're in the office working office can I see any students today and also had some little gifts that I bought them I did a little bit not the major you know little stuff I bought for them I want she said she wouldn't let me give that to them yesterday so now they're reassigning me I'm like school's out tomorrow so I would like to be able to possibly give that to them and then I would like to be able to continue and if the Lord leads me to do that and that's the best solution for them that's what I'm more concerned about but I'm great like I can leave if they're going to be fine you know I, they don't have to necessarily go back myself so anyway so <laughs> I know this a lot so anyway so once I figure out unemployment is going through, I already checked it's on the way and everything like that. And once I finish what I'm going to do, then I'll follow up accordingly after that. But, you know, I'm just getting back. So I don't know what's going on. I can't judge. You know what I'm saying? So I tr I've been trying to be really positive. Like I said, all along, like I've been trying to be really positive. My son is trying it right now. So I'm really trying to be positive and everything like that. So now I'm just sitting in my car. I'm doing some notes. You know what I'm saying? I got me a little bit of food here. I'm just relaxing. It's beautiful. Look at that. Look like Jesus, you know, <laughs> like reaching the people, teaching the people on the street, and everything like that. So, I'm just gonna just relax and work, you know, hopefully, got my unemployment check. I don't know, I hope it would have been here by now, but you know, whatever, as long as it goes through, then I'm good. So, I know God got this, so I'm just gonna keep praying and trust Him. I already, I'm checking some faith call with my family members, so what's going on. Should have been like, What you going on? You great, you can't trust, you gotta do what God tells you to do, you know, what I'm saying because some people. 
I never understood things to spiritualize. This is a spiritual eternity thing. This is not. And I think God has performed amazing, amazing miracle signs and wonders on my behalf in spite of everything that's been going on. Truth be told. You know what I'm saying? So, haters, you know, whatever. Most of me is going on with that. So, as long as it continues to work out, then I'm good. And um, praise Jesus. You know, I give the haters. <laughs> you know. So, anyway. But most of me is going on with that. It's all good. So, God's still in control. And, I, and he has performed so many, many amazing, wonderful signs and wonders in the midst of this. So, I know he's going to continue to do so. You know what I'm saying? And I have a great, they are saying they're going to pay me throughout this pro, this process while this investigation goes on. I just got to be, so I call them to know, you know, I've tried to get there, but I can't have a choice right now. So, you know, if I'm love, you know, I do everything. Like, I'm always overly, you know, so I always just do everything, you know, right, decency in order. You know, that's how I always operate in this, up in this situation, you know. So, I know God's going to work it out. And he's performing miracle signs for women. So, they said, while this process goes on, they're going to continue to pay me. And then, like I said, once I figure out, you know, what my options is my time with Jesus. Then I'll figure out what's going to happen. I mean, I don't even have a decision to make because I don't really know what's going on. You know what I'm saying? So, once I spend some more time praying with him, then I'll figure out what he wants me to do. So, anyway, that's the update on that. So, um, anyway, something happened. I went and bought me a Mountain Dew. I was next to Aaron's. And I went and bought me a Mountain Dew. I really don't drink Mountain Dew, but I got a Mountain Dew. Holy Spirit told me to get a Mountain Dew, so I got a Mountain Dew. And so, <laughs> I'm just going to sit here and look at my notes and I'll do my message for Believe For It. Then I want to do a late charge. <laughs> I was in here eating this little Twinkie, this little orange. I don't know. Anyway, I got some mixed messages. About I got mixed messages. So anyway, uh, I don't know what that meant. So anyway, but I have my Mountain Dew. So I speak my Mountain Dew. So either way, it goes all good. So you know, he gets you signs. You get confused about what it means and everything like that. This little Twinkie, like, let me show you. I'm confused. He gave me. He told me to hold, get this Twinkie the other day. Save it because I have. You know, I ask him like, should I eat this? Should I, you know, sometimes. So I got this box of Twinkies. <laughs> So I put it out, but I got the Mountain Dew too. So uh, you know, I don't know. What about me? It's going to that thing, whatever. Because I wasn't going to ask. Cause I could contact Lake because they did tell me they would help me out if I asked them to. But you know, and I'm if God, you know, if God leads me to do it, then I'll do it. But I'm trying to be independent as I possibly can up in here because you know I'm independent. I'm a college educated. I'm professional. I'm an adult. I'm responsible. I don't have to take care of myself. I don't have to do what I got to do to take care of me. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going to do that. So. You know, if God, I mean, if God leads me to do it, then I will do it if I had no other choice. But I'm trying to do it on my own because I don't know. I just, I don't want to be, I don't want to lie on the church because, you know, that could cost, you know, I want to do, I want to do this, what I can do on my own. I'm, I'm trying to move forward here and do what I can. So anyway, I believe God's working. I already told me, it's already said it's only going to come anyway. It's going to already end, it's been sent out, it's direct deposit, so it happens immediately, like within the next couple hours or by the latest tomorrow morning. I think that's the latest I've ever gotten it. So I've already gotten several checks already, you know, it's already done. Never told me it's coming. So Anyway, I'm gonna be okay, but just pray for me and everything like that. So, um, <laughs> anyway, God is good. So, that's my little update. I was just confused. That's why I started this video. <laughs> I'm out and doing my little Twinkies. <laughs> I don't know what's normal about that. And then, uh, anyway, so, anyway, God is good. Praise Jesus.